Welcome back to the channel and Happy New Year everyone. I'll be starting off the new year today by showing you how to make some Jamaican rum and raisin ice cream. Perfect for today because today is Sunday. So the first thing you'll need is two cups of whipping cream. I'm going to be going in with some Nestle whipping cream and you're going to at least need a whipping cream that has 25% fat at least. So add that all to my bowl and ensure that your whipping cream is chilled. Do not use room temperature whipping cream. So I'm using a hand mixer here to whip everything up and this will take me around five minutes or so. If you don't have an electric mixer, no problem, use your regular hand mixer and just whip this up. It might just take you some more minutes, a few more minutes, but that's okay. Go ahead and whip it up. So after a few minutes, this is the consistency. I'm actually fine with this consistency to be honest and you don't need your hand mixer or your electric mixer anymore. Excellent consistency, just rest this to the side until you're ready for it again. So here I have a half cup of raisins that I've been soaking in 2 8 cups of rum and an 8 cup of fruit wine. I've been soaking this for a week, you can soak this overnight if you don't have the time. So to this I'll be adding some vanilla extract, I'll be adding a tablespoon of vanilla extract to this. You know, just to get this, just to give this a little flavor, vanilla will kick it up a notch. So add that all in. Next, I'm going in with a can of condensed milk. The whipping cream on its own has no flavor. So this, you're just making your flavor, mixing up your things right now to give you a nice flavor to add to that whipping cream. So here I'm just mixing the vanilla, the milk, and those soaked raisins together. And that's it. So back now with that whipping cream you're just going to add that mixture to it a little at a time and you do this until everything is nice and fully incorporated so you add a little then you fold it in you add a little more and then you fold it in so if you're wondering what happened to the rum and the wine that the raisins were soaking in I just added those to some fruits I was soaking for some Christmas cake because you don't want to add any rum to this you don't want to have um any liquid kind of liquid like that in this because that will allow your ice cream to have some little ice flakes in it and you don't want that so you have to remove that extra wine and rum from your raisins the raisins were soaking before so they'll be filled with rum the longer you soak your raisins the more rum they'll they'll the more rummy taste they'll have so everything has been nice and mixed together look at how creamy it is right now so all you need to do right now is just add it to an airtight container add it all in ensure that you get everything out of your bowl just scrape everything in and then you just want to go in with your spatula or your spoon to kind of move around the raisins because you don't want the raisins to be in one only one section of your ice cream right that's lovely so the next thing you do is you just cover your container and then you just pop this in the fridge for a few hours or overnight for best results and voila here you have it a few hours later I never waited until the next day because I had to share this with my friends and look at this guys easy scooping lovely I wish I was able to get it at a better angle for you guys but trust me this was everything this brought me back home Lovely. I'm never buying rum and raisin ice cream again and you don't have to guys because look at this homemade rum and raisin ice cream Perfect Sunday dessert. You don't need to buy any ice cream today Make your own because homemade is always better 
so let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section of course if you like the video don't forget to give the video a thumbs up share the video subscribe to the channel turn your post notifications on visit my website at rumorskitchen.net for this and other great recipes thank you so much for watching until next video